Dear Support Mains, it's about time that you guys had your day in the spotlight. And so today I thought I'd take a few minutes to just kind of give a big all thank you and kind of go over a list of things that I appreciate that you do. Because I know you don't hear it from your teammates and I know you don't hear it from anybody. So here you go. This is for you. Let's just start off with you guys actually make or break a game. Depending on how what you're doing can, and in most cases, often does, determine whether or not you're going to win a game. I don't mean to put any more pressure on you guys, <laughs> but we wouldn't beat anything without you. We'll get, get to that in a second. Thank you for every ward you were forced to place in mid because those nerds never buy wards. Thank you for every blink steal onto a gold fury and especially a fire giant. Those are always hype and badass. I also appreciate every geb shield during a team fight whenever you knew my beads were on cooldown. Like you guys have to like keep that stuff in mind. You see all the CC coming on the enemy team. You're sitting there panicking because you know that nurse beads are down and you throw up a geb, sh geb shield to get me out of the danger. Or try to. It's good. It's good things. I'm very grateful that even though you have the cooldowns to take that kill, it's just right there. You reel it back in for the greater good and you hand it to your carry. That takes a lot of self-restraint and that's badass. I wanted to say thank you for every wave or jungle camp you've held to wait for your teammate. I love it whenever I see supports who are aware of the map and see that they have a teammate close that's heading that way. So they hold the lane or hold the jungle camp. That's awesome. Good job. <laughs> Shoutouts to any Amir who has ever been running away from the entire enemy team with your AD carry, trying to run for your lives, and uh, throwing up that, that wall as soon as you get to the jungle to ensure that your ADC gets away, uh, even though it does cost you your life. You are a hero. <laughs> this is so dramatic, but it's true. It's real life. It's real shit. And for that time that you were playing Athena and you four-man taunted the enemy team and your Kukulkin got a quadra and they didn't say thank you, thank you, bro. You did it. And finally, thank you for enduring the immense amount of stress that comes from babysitting four people. On a more serious note, thank you guys so much. I know you guys never get, you know, the highlight. You hardly ever see top five plays with the support. You guys don't get a lot of hype during the SPL or during tournaments or just random, you know, conquest games. So it's about time somebody said thank you. At least for me, and I know from maybe your teammate, but definitely at least some people in the community, thank you. I do see what you're doing and you are much appreciated. And if you appreciated this video and you want to see some other awesome vlogs that I've done, you can find them right here. Or you can subscribe below to know whenever I do post them and I post them every week. Uh, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you had a good time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Just get it out. Just get it out now, because that way, like, we can just get it done. Here we go. I have a huge boner for support me. Oh, God, no. That can't go in. Thank you. Turned to a beat poem all of a sudden. Anyways, uh, moving on. I also. <laughs> and I don't know how to make this sound any less weird than it does, so here we go. <laughs> Wouldn't have happened without you. The dragon just would have hit nobody. The dragon would have just made a sound and then quivered in fear in the clouds where it goes whenever Kukulkin's ultimate is uh, it's not in use. It often uh, shops at Target, drinks lattes in the sandy desert of, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>